head of Tony Abbott's Business Advisory Council, Morris Newman, seen here deciding if you're progressing to the next round of auditions, appeared on ABC's Late Line program last night. If you didn't see it, I assume it's because you were busy watching Station Close on ABC3. But I saw it and I think you ought to know about it. Morris Newman is one of Australia's most influential businessmen and has the ear of the Prime Minister. He also believes... Australia has become hostage to climate change madness. I beg to differ, Morris. I think Australia's become hostage to frozen yoghurt madness. Mr Newman was quizzed about his climate change scepticism by host Emma Alberici. Given there is now consensus among 97% or so of climate scientists across the world, what would it take to convince you? The survey which came out with a 97% uh, number was flawed in the first place, so we don't pay any attention to that. Yes, it was flawed. It only asked for the opinions of climate scientists and not businessmen like Morris. But Emma pushed on, pointing to the further evidence provided by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Now, 195 countries contribute to that. 19 academies of science across the world, including, I have to say, the Australian Bureau of Meteorology, the CSIRO, NASA, the American Academy of Sciences, the British equivalent, the Canadian equivalent. So I'm wondering, who is it that's influencing you so? Yeah. Yes, Morris, what's more convincing than the climate models developed by all those respected academies of science? And those models have been shown to be 98% inaccurate. By? By Roy Spencer. Ah, Roy Spencer, a.k.a. the 3%, seen here disputing the link between photos and smiling. Roy may just be one climate scientist, but I'm pretty sure he's more knowledgeable than the Australian Bureau of Meteorology, the CSIRO, NASA, the American Academy of Sciences. I mean, what does Roy have to say about the theory of creationism? I began to study their case, and after some months of analysis, I finally became convinced that the theory of creation actually has a much better scientific basis than the theory of evolution. Uh-oh. <laughs> So, the guy that advises the Prime Minister gets his advice from a scientist who believes in creationism. But don't let that throw you. Maybe Roy's website will restore your confidence in him. Jesus, forget about climate change. That website is the greatest moral challenge of our time. But back to Morris. Luckily, Emma Alberici did give the head of the Business Advisory Council a chance to talk about something he does know about, the government's recent trade deals with Asia. These sorts of agreements are like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. You never get all the things you want. What? That's not the quote. Turns out he's also a Forrest Gump denier. For the roast, I'm Mark Humphrey.